All right, folks, thanks for joining me. Tonight, we're going to talk about form submissions. Specifically, I want to talk about prevent default on events emitted by those forms and the form method or the HTML form elements method of reset. Why are we going to be talking about those? Well, sometimes you want to be using um, forms and form data that's submitted by a user on the client side. You don't need to redirect. You don't need to send that data off anywhere but you still want the user to interact with your form. So let's take a look at what we've got. I've got a very simple form here. It's got one element. I ask for your name and then on submit. You can see on my left over here, I've got my HTML. Here's the form. I've got a class called form class, my input and my submit. Um, I do print the path because that's gonna be what we're focused on right now. I'm selecting my form. I've got my query selector to my form class. And then I've got a submit form a function that is fired on submit for my form class because I'm attaching an event listener here. So basic, um, basic behavior is that if I press submit, I put my name in and I press submit, would help if I refresh my page. I put my name in, I press submit. Okay, you can see my form was submitted, my name is Steven, and my path still says this, but that's not actually true. I got navigated away to a new, new path, and that path includes my form submission. All right, so what's happening here? What's happening is in the form, there is a, I've got an event listener, right? On submit, though, what the default event, um, or the default behavior for the submit event is to redirect and send that data off, which is awesome. There are a lot of cases for that. It's not what we want to do right now though. So first things first, let's prevent that redirect. That's what this event dot prevent default does. Now our submit event is what's being emitted and we want to prevent the default behavior of submit effectively. So let's take a look, let's save over here. Let's go back. Okay, I'm back at my basic one. I've navigated back to my test HTML. And if I just type in Steven now, whoa, awesome. So my form still gets submitted. I still have my name, but I didn't get redirected. Now, the problem that I have right now is from a user experience, I can't tell that anything actually happened, right? Most users aren't gonna have their console open and it looks like my name's still here. I didn't get redirected. So how do I know that anything happened? Now, one thing that we can do to help with that is clear the form on submission. That's where the HTML form elements method reset can come into hand handy. My, my guess is this is not how it was originally envisioned, but it works perfectly for this use case. So. We've got our submit form. We've got our prevent default, so we're not gonna get redirected away. All of this is just printing things to the console so that we can see what's going on. You probably don't wanna keep that in your code. We can do anything else we want here with our data that we get from the event. And then we're gonna reset our form. All right, so let's take a look. We've got a save. I'm gonna re refresh my page. Now I'm gonna put in John, right? John got printed, great, my form got submitted, I didn't get redirected, and my function, or my form, rather, is empty. That's awesome. One last thing before we go. Because this event listener is attached to form, the form class or the HTML element, uh, form element, we actually can, you might see this written as this.reset. The reason that that works is that the context in which the submit form is being um, run is the form class. And you can see that by going to the left of this call time dot. It's probably not the official name, but it's how I think about it. Um, and so at runtime, we look to the left of that dot, we see form class, that's what this is gonna be. So just um, to prove it, let's do one more test. And now we're going to do Jane, Jane, same behavior as before, which is great. Um, we didn't get redirected. We can still ha have access to the name. Um, and that's basically how to use 
event, um, the event prevent default, and the forms reset methods. Um, hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Appreciate it. Bye.